How's it going, everybody? Polar Mobile here, bringing you an absolute banger list of games coming to PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium on April 16th. Swerve. We're actually going to start with two games that aren't releasing on the 16th, but they'll release slightly later as day one releases. First up, we've got Animal Well. This is only on PS5 and will launch on May 9th. No idea on the trophy list yet, but it's a puzzle platformer, so I wouldn't expect it to be super difficult or long to finish. Next up, we've got Tales of Kenzera Zao. This is only on PlayStation 5 and will launch a week later on April 23rd. While there is a trophy list out already, only a few people have actually played it. Fewer still with the Platinum, but as of writing this, it's looking like it'll take somewhere around... 10 hours to finish, maybe less. It looks like a fun one, and I guess the crit roll team is involved, so how do you want to do this? Next up, we've got Dave the Diver. We're getting this on both PS4 and PS5, and while we're not sure yet about difficulty, I would expect this to take somewhere around 30 hours to get the Platinum, looking at the achievement list on Steam and people's full playthroughs. Next up, we've got Oddballers. This is just for PS4, and you're looking at 4 out of 10 difficulty and around 20 hours to finish the Platinum. The trophies are entirely online, so with the game being pretty dead for a while now, hopefully it being added to PlayStation Plus will increase the player count. It's possible to get the trophies playing against AI opponents, but apparently it's pretty buggy, so maybe stay away from this one. Next up, we've got Construction Simulator. This is for both PS4 and PS5, and you're looking at another 4 out of 10 difficulty, and a whopping 150 hours or more to get this one. So unless you really love construction and are wanting a grind, I'd stay away from this one too. Next up, we've got The Crew 2. This is just for PS4, and you're looking at yet another 4-ish out of 10 difficulty, and around 40 hours to finish the Platinum. There are some online trophies, and there's a definite grind, but if you're into this kind of racing game, it's a pretty doable platinum. Next up, we've got Raji, an ancient epic. This is for both PS4 and PS5, and you're looking at about a 3 out of 10 difficulty and around 5 hours to finish it, but unfortunately, there's no platinum. It's definitely a unique game, but if you're only looking for games with platinums, this is not the one for you. Next up, we've got the Lego Ninjago movie video game. This is just for PS4, and it's only a 2 out of 10 for difficulty, and it should take you somewhere around 20 hours to finish. If you've played any of the Lego games before, you know what to expect. The trophy list is basically the same as the rest of them. Next up, we've got Nor, Play With Your Food. Could be Nour, I'm not sure. This is for both PS4 and PS5, and you're looking at a 3 out of 10 for difficulty and around 15 hours to finish. It's a weird one for sure, and there's reports that the PS4 version is buggy, so stick to the PS5 version if you can. Next up, we've got Deliver Us Mars. This is for both PS4 and PS5, and you're looking at only a 2 out of 10 for difficulty. And you can finish this in around four hours if you're just going for the trophies, maybe closer to eight or so if you're trying to really enjoy the game. Next up, we've got Lego Marvel's Avengers. This is just for PS4, and you're looking at a three out of ten difficulty and around 40 hours to finish. This is one of the longer Lego games, but just like the Ninjago movie one, if you've played any of the other games, you know what to expect here. Next up, we've got Miasma Chronicles. This is only on PS5 and is one of the more difficult Platinums to get in this list, with a 6 out of 10 difficulty and around 50 hours to finish. You have to play on Alpha Editor difficulty in either your first or second playthrough, and it's a turn-based role-playing game. So if that's not up your alley, I would skip this one. Next up, we've got Stray Blade. This is also only on PS5 and is another 6 out of 10 difficulty and will take you around 30 hours to finish. It's a Souls-like and the game is in much better shape now than it was when it released, so if you're into that kind of game, this is perfect for you. Next up, 
We've got three new classics coming to PlayStation Plus Premium, only one of which has a confirmed trophy list so far. First, we've got the original Medieval. It's got the same trophy list as the remake, so expect a 3 out of 10 for difficulty and around 8 hours to finish. Next, we've got Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, The Hidden Empire, which has no confirmed trophy list as of yet. And the fourth Alone in the Dark game, The New Nightmare, which also has no confirmed trophy list yet. Hopefully these two will get a platinum. I'm looking forward to playing these again. So there you have it. This month, PlayStation Plus Premium and Extra Games. I think it's a pretty good month. It's nice seeing some more Day 1 releases being added. I think I'm most excited for probably Dave the Diver. Let me know in the comments down below which games you'll be going for the Platinum in.